Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the XBLA Fans Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Hyposphere Rebirth, a game where you play as a spear going through a course. And then you get two game uh, gamer score every two levels. Uh, I played a little bit of it, but this game's got some pretty good menu music. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's literally it. You're this little spear. You can roll around. You jump, and you got crazy jump time. You also have crazy air control. Like I can literally just start going backwards. Uh, you do have momentum, but it's really easy to kind of um, negate that momentum uh, while you're in the air. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff I can pick up here. These little sort of uh, UFO goldy th golden things are actually uh, points. There's coins, and then on the right there, you can actually see a uh, life. I actually have 61 lives. I have not needed these lives at all uh, because it is really easy to complete these levels. Like, there you go. Uh, and off we go. Uh, no idea how many levels there are, but uh, so far this game has been oddly soothing to play. I, mean, I think soothing is probably the best word to describe it. Ooh, oh, there we go. Uh, you, uh, move with the left stick and then you can do this with the right stick. Uh, not very useful, but hey, whatever. Ooh. There we go. Get these points. Uh, yeah, like I said before, most of the achievements are, uh, tied to beating levels. You get one essentially every two levels. Oh. Mm. There we go. And as you saw there, I jumped in the air. Uh, you get one jump every time uh, every time you after you hit the ground. Uh, and I think it even recharges once you touch a wall. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said before, this game's not terribly hard. Hey, we're just gonna jump that. There we go. Uh, the coins, like I said before, are one of the collectibles and those are used to purchase lives and uh, and it's not, like I said, not hard at all. So I've barely used any lives. I think I've died maybe three times. I don't know, even know what level I'm on. Let's go to the shop, though. Uh, let's buy one life. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm on level 24, and I've died maybe four times. And that's mostly uh, one of the beginning levels was when I wasn't really used to like how the uh, the the air controls worked. Oh, hold on. There we go. Jump. And bam. Oh boy, this, this level looks freaky. Can I go through those? Yes, I can. Let's see. So my goal has been mostly ignoring the collectibles. Oh, I went too far back. Uh, and just kind of chucking myself like that to the end of the level. And so far, it's worked, like, most of the time. Like, I don't really care about the collectibles. Like I said before, I barely died, so I've not needed uh, the uh, the coins at all. I think there's an achievement for getting a certain score and maybe a certain amount of uh, coins or something like that, or bonuses, I'm not sure what it's called. But yeah, it's... oddly soothing to play this and just kind of... Uh, going when i first uh actually saw videos of this i thought it was gonna be like marble madness which is uh a infuriating game to play because it played used to play terribly if you don't know what that is you essentially played as a marble and you get through levels and it controlled terribly and you had a timer it was terrible Ooh, here we go here's a power up which was big Oh. See, like I said before, you you can you can recover real easily in there. There's two lives over there, and I don't care. I'm still expecting at some point to have one of those levels that's just filled with a uh, bonus, uh, the points and the coins. Hasn't happened yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, I, there is no level select. You would just kind of just go and continue from where you've been. All right, all right. Huh. 
Oh, look, there's my coins. Maybe this game is difficult, but it's one of those weird games that I'm really good at. All my years of playing Dark Souls has finally paid off in uh, another game. There we go. But yeah, simple, but hey, it has been enjoyable so far at a to an odd degree. Maybe it's that weird satisfaction you can get from like skipping stones because you do kind of like when you hit the ground like hopper I don't know why I picked up that life you do kind of like skid a bit there we go in we go I would use so many of these levels as like a desktop background well, there's something written at the bottom of the screen. I just noticed. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the uh, the song. I can see that we're now playing, but that's about it. Mm. Oh, now it's gone. Mm. Who knows? Music's been fine. Mm. Mm. Wheel it back. So what happened there is I went past it and I jumped in the air and I just... I, I love that you get, like, an air jump. I do like that the levels uh, load fairly fast as well. There we go. But yeah, if you're doing one of those uh, true achievement challenges to get a whole bunch of, like, random achievements very quickly, uh, this game has, like, 60 or something? I don't remember. It's got a lot. Nope. There we go. See, you can like, even like, stuff that you wouldn't think has collision would be is stuff that you can recover off of. So, I feel that I could actually beat this game without ever buying a life. Uh, or not even like... There's like a, there's a new game plus mode apparently after you beat it. That's one of the achievements is to beat 10 levels in new game plus. So I'm wondering if the levels change anything any way like that. How do you get mad air, don't you? I like the ones in space because I like to pretend that there's a giant marble just kind of chilling out on the uh, space station. Oh, look at all this. Oh, I did not see that there's a whole bunch of points after the end, the end of this. Uh, pro tip, don't play this game in the dark because some of these levels are super bright and they will blind you. What is that? I don't know what that was, but I picked it up. It belongs to me now. Oh. Uh, there have been some levels where you're just, you you have to do these little platforming jumps. They are incredibly few and far between. I actually don't think I've seen one since between level 1 and 10. Most of the time you can yeet yourself out of there. Most of it is just going down these very narrow platforms or going around these weird spinny top things. These are very, very reoccurring. There we go. Uh oh. Almost there. Hold on. Boop. Oh boy. Some really large platforms here. Just used to them being that thin. There we go. Yeah, see, I can even rebound off the edge there. I'm in space, guys. Oh, wow. Rolling, rolling. And through the door we go. Oh, gosh. My eyes. Wee. 
I'm sure this would take longer and you'd fall more if you were going for all the collectibles and stuff like that, not just straight shotting it through like I am. But hey, uh I'm I'm speed running with marbles. But I think you get the idea. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, ask down below. See ya!